Hi there. On behalf of John Curry and myself, thank you for using this free software. This is a Maps Driving Direction software. Uh, and this will uh, give you massive geo relevance uh, to power up both your GMBs and local um, organic ranking as well. Perfect for both. Uh, we use it a lot for GMB, very, very powerful. Uh, before we go any further onto the tutorial to show you how to use the software, I thought I'd just take a moment just to quickly tell you that we have a training, an amazing training, which is going to teach you how to get the most out of this software, plus an awful lot more besides. Uh, so this is specifically a GMB training, so how to rank GMBs and how to get the most traffic to your GMBs uh, and dominate the Google 3-pack. So click this red button here to get more information on that training. And uh, without further ado, we'll get into showing you how the tool works. Okay, so first of all, we'll put a business name into the location. Uh, so here we would be, cho I've chosen this particular business here. Uh, and I've just put the suburb that it's in. That will be enough uh, generally for the software to pick it up. Unless, of course, there's another business with a similar name. Um, so you might want to be a bit more specific. But this will pick that up. Down here, uh, this next section here is uh, make the pin destination. So what this means is that we can either make this business the destination. So in other words, the maps that it creates will start somewhere else and finish here. Or we can make this the origin, the, the um, origin of the journey. So in which case, the maps will start at this point and end somewhere else. So that's all that is, very, very simple. This is self-explanatory, radius in kilometers or miles. Uh, what this software is going to do in this particular um, module that we're going to show you now, is it's going to build radial maps. So it's going to build out eight maps for every given radius that we give the software. So um, let me, it'll probably be easier if I show you. So most of you will probably be operating in miles. Uh, we put a radius in here, uh, we'll choose one, three, and five miles, just as an example. Okay, now you'll see here we've got driving mode. So what this means essentially is the mode of transportation. So it's, it's set, at the moment it's set default to driving. So you don't need to worry about the default. So if you click that, it's going to give you driving directions. So both of these at this point will give you driving directions. Uh, this one is for walking directions, cycling, transit, which means public transport. Uh, this one you're probably not going to use. Uh, I can't imagine many people flying into your business, but we put it there anyway. Okay, so these are the radius distances that I've chosen. One mile, three miles, and five miles. Uh, now we've got an option here to add categories, keywords, and schema into the iframes that this software is going to produce. So if we, for example, put a keyword hello in there uh, and submit. Okay, and what you can see immediately is it's created 24 maps. And the reason 24 is because we put three radiuses in and it's going to create eight per radius. So let's just grab one of these and I'll show you if we put this into Google exactly what this is creating. So let's paste that in there. And we'll see that this brings up a driving directions map. Okay, we can see there it's going. The reason this says home is that's uh, how they've labeled this business. Not quite sure why, but it will give you the name of the business. Whatever the name of the business is will come up there. And if you click on that, it's going to take you to their actual um, profile. Okay, so here we've got uh, one driving directions map, which has been created from this address here down to here. Now, if we go back to this oh, excuse me go back to the software and let's pick this one and we'll copy that and then we'll come back and open a different window in Google because I want to just show you the comparison so we open up this driving directions map and you can immediately see if we compare the two okay that oops this one here starts in the south and, tra and goes to the north this one here starts in the north and goes to the south okay so and what happens is you'll have eight of these and they'll be all spread around 
the central point that we've put in as our address. It produces for you, of course, the um, the iframes as well, which which have the uh, the injected keyword in there. Say we put the keyword hello, so that's been broken into the iframe. You can put anything in there that you want. You could put your nap in there. Uh, that's something I do a fair bit. You can also put um, you could put a link in there if you wanted to. It's not going to be a live link, but Google will read it. Uh, you could also put, of course, in there a um, schema. So you can put your schema in there, and that's when, when you upload these, or when you embed these, Google will be able to read that schema. Okay, so moving on to the next function. So that's pretty powerful. That's, and what you do is you'll embed those into uh, blogs, and um, you, know, um, you can put them in HTML uh, files up to the cloud. You can put them on websites, etc., etc. A lot of potential with those. So the next thing that we can do is show you the anchor text. So we'll do this again. Uh, this time we're going to add some anchor text. So if we, um, if we, for example, put by now as our anchor text and submit. Okay, what we're going to get if we go to this tab, it's going to take the first URL that the software created and it's going to give us an HTML anchor text link. So if we put this into an HTML file, what we would see is we'd have uh, a link which says by now, which will be clickable and would take us to that map. Okay, so you can use those in your HTML um, properties if you want to uh, have anchor text links in there. It just makes it really, really simple for you to do those. You can add up to eight per run. Uh, sorry, no, but you can add more than that. Sorry, with the, with the anchor text. And all you do is you put a comma separator in. So I could put in there by now. Uh, um, I could put the business name in affordable double glazing. I'm not going to finish it. But then you see how we go. We just one after the other. So if I submit that now, you can see that we've got two. We'll have two anchor text links. One with affordable in, one with buy now in. And what the software is doing is it's taking the first uh, maps and it's adding those anchor text links to them. Okay, so if you put in 10 anchor texts in here, the first 10 maps that the software produces are going to have those anchor text links produced. Okay, so that's a, a really good feature too, uh, something that people ask for and works very, very well. The other thing that we've added in here um, this is a function that I use a lot, is add more locations. Okay, so what this is going to do, uh, if we clear out this so that we're not confusing the software, um, you can still have your uh, anchor text links and your uh, schema and whatnot in here, that's not a problem. Um, but just to keep this simple, I'm just gonna show you without putting that in. So here we've put the business location in. And then we go add more locations. And what this is going to do, if I put in Lingari, um, and then I'll add another one and put Butler. These are suburbs in and around where I live. Uh, Alkimos. And you can add up to eight. And let's put Queen's Rocks in there. Then press Submit. Okay, and then go to Point to Point URL. What it's done now is it's created four maps and four iframes, four URLs and four iframes for the maps. And these are point to point destinations. So you can actually choose where you want these to go to and from. Okay, so if we show you this one, there we go. So that's coming from Mindari to our business address. Okay, so that's what we put in there. So you, I've just put suburb names in there, but you can be completely specific. You could put the actual address in there if you wanted to create maps from a specific address 
to your um, pin or between two specific addresses you can really you know whatever you whatever use you find for this uh, it was going to be able to create these driving directions maps super quick for you uh, so that really concludes it very very simple to use uh, that was the whole you know the whole brief when putting this together must be really really easy to use uh, so I hope you have fun with it uh, please do have a look at our uh, training and uh, thanks for popping by